Hello, this is H.J. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire! Since last time, I made it back to the mouse area here, and, well, first things first, let's rest up here. This really does remind me of something in Soul Blazer, but I, I can't quite put my finger on it. It's been a few years since I've played that game. Oh well. I mean, played it all the way through. But anyway, for defeating the King Roaches, or maybe they're cockroaches, I don't know. We get the Mouse Cura. What does that do? Well, that cures us? They just happen to leave a cure around in a mouse hole? In our general vicinity? Wow. Well, of course! Why not? Oh, there's a deus ex machina if I ever saw one. Whatever. I still like it. But anyway, with uh, these guys, just use your boomerang there. You should be able to take them out easily enough. Good job, Ryu. What is that thing below us, anyway? Why do the Dark Dragons always have these huge vats of chemicals? Something, I don't know. Now, if these guys flashing looks a little weird to you, it looks that way to me, too. It's probably one of those sprite flicker things because I got too many enemies here at once. But anyway, Peril is weak to ice! So you want to use chill on them. Or you could just get a critical hit on all of them. That works, too. Aw, oh, man! Missed. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ow! Oh, that was cool there. But, yeah. Pretty, I mean, yeah, you see they're orange. You can use fire magic. Pretty easy to figure out what element they're weak to. So, alright. So, yeah, you just wanna kinda go around in this little maze they got going on here. Now, you don't want to take the upper path, because that'll take you back to the beginning. You want to go down instead, and that'll take you... Well, it'll, it will allow you to potentially go to the end. I like all these little hovering platforms. This area is pretty simple, but later on in the game, we get some pretty complex puzzles we got going on there. Well, we got a warlock here. Should be easy enough for us to take down. Aw, oh, come on! Aw, oh, come on! Ow! That hurt you, bit. Uh. Okay, well, uh, ow. Yeah, you don't want to let enemies get down to critical like that. That was just, you know, really bad luck on my part. Oh, well. Fortunately, I don't have Nina in my active party, so she wouldn't get hit by that. So, I like doing that with my party heal up to max here. Yeah, I like having a healer in reserves there, so that way she won't get hit by stuff, but if I need to, I can always bring her into the main party. Nuts. You don't, just, you don't look that much bigger. For boss time against Ruga X himself. So let's use the Bolt Dragon against this guy. Attack there. And, well, for now, let's start with the Flame right here. I think I want to use on him. I wonder if I've learned Blast yet. I don't think I have. I'll check that in the next round. Sometimes I've learned the next spell for Blue by now. Sometimes I have. I don't. But let's check it out. Now, with Ryu, I, I want to use Marble Ones pretty much every time I use Ryu with a dragon, regardless of whether they're weak to the element or not. Yeah, I haven't learned Blast yet, so... Oh, well. That is one thing about Blue that's kind of weird compared to all the other characters in the game. She gains levels really fast. Like, she'll get 10 or 15 levels ahead of everyone else because she gains them so fast. Uh, only up to, I think, about level 40 or so, whenever she learns all of her spells. I probably won't hit the max, but I'll learn all the spells that I care about. So, yeah, just keep on going with Flame Rapier. Don't even... Yeah, don't even worry about a uh, second wind here, because well, he doesn't have one. So, all right, got him. Ha ha. That's... 
Wouldn't that be bad for everyone? I mean, even the dark dragons? Maybe he's just a mad scientist that doesn't care. Hmm, reminds me of another game. But he's not a ninja, so. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. I really hope Karn didn't defuse there. Let's get on out. Of, let's get on with it. Really, game? Really? Well, excuse me, princess. Who died made you God, Blue? Hey, we beat up your boyfriend. Ah, oh, well, you know, he was a giant ogre. Or whatever he looked like, I don't know. Yeah, we got carried away defending our lives as he was trying to kill us. Ah. Oh. How do you know how to heal people, Blue? You're not a healer, you're a black mage. Or maybe she needs the oil to give him a puff puff massage, like last time. <laughs> Somehow it just seems odd that that would be something that you would have to... I don't know. Someone would order someone else to do it. I don't know. They've gone mad! Maybe they've used the flower on themselves. Who knows? Maybe the game designers did that. I don't know. Let me see... If anyone says anything different here. I'm trying to see if they give you a clue as to what you're supposed to do next. I know what to do next, but I forget if they tell you in-game or not. Okay, well, first things first, we gotta refuse. And, yeah, we're all at full HP, so I don't need to rest up at the end. I was thinking about it, but, nah. Okay, well, I'll just tell you. If you go to the frog cave, they'll tell you, Hey, we need G-Money. No, no, they need a G-Fly. And this is where you go to get one. So instead of going all the way over there and back, I figured, well, I'll just show you where to go in the first place. So you saved the trip. Unfortunately, we do not have blue in our party anymore. Oh, well. Got any cheese? For boss time against the G fly. Somehow, this isn't the epic quest that I thought I was going to be embarking on today. Yeah, we got a lot of boss fights today, viewers. What does the G stand for, for anyway? Golden? Gigantic? It doesn't really look gigantic to me. Maybe Great or Grand Fly? I don't know. Somehow, I always thought it was Gold Fly, even though there's no real reason nothing to support that. I just... I don't know. I always thought it was that. Okay, second win. Not that bad. So we'll just use a regular attack. I'm going to bother with the marble ones. And we should be able to get them. Ow! That is one tough fly. Invisible explosives. What a pain in the ass. I mean, uh, fly. Yeah, we might want to pick up the fly. Well, we gotta have a golden fly for the golden toad. Well, actually, they're not really golden toads, but that was another game. So, I'll just tell you where the cave is. Let's see, we're still fused up. Not that we need to be fused up for this next part, but... Okay, well, it's closer to... Uh, Tun... Or... Yeah, Tun... -tun. I was gonna say Tun Tar, but... No, that village is no more. So we might as well just warp as close to it as we can. Thanks, game, for giving me a village above water for the western half of the world. I like Tunlin. Might be my favorite village in the game. I just love villages or cities that have... I don't know what you call those things. Canals? Like a Venice sort of feel to it. Like the Guerra. I don't think you call them canals, though, because they're too small for... They're too small for, uh, 
for a, a, a canoe or whatever you would use to go through a canal. I remember going to Florida once and I saw they had something like that where, like, everyone who lived on the river had a port and a boat to their house. Not that the house is really big, like mansions or anything, but it just looked kind of cool. I'd never have the money for that, but nor do I really care that much, but it does look kind of cool. So anyway, this is the frog cave. Could have come here earlier, but they would have just said, Hey, hey, you like frogs? You want some G? I mean, uh, I can give you some oil. It acts as a nice lubricant. What, is, what does blue need the oil for anyway? Don't answer that, viewers. Not for the puff puff massage. Is that like an ingredient for a cure or something? Or did they... Maybe it's alcohol, booze, and they had to translate it. I don't know. I mean, some people get high on toads. What is it with frogs in my LPs anyway? Anyway, let's uh, fuse up. And bring Ryu back into the fold. Let's see. Oh yeah, I uh, might want to rest up there. Yeah, I used a lot of MP in that last fight. Somehow. Yes, I did. Thank you. Hmm. Music seemed to glitch out a little bit there. Eh, whatever. Probably just leaving and entering the house or something. Yeah, how's it going? What are you going to do? Smack me upside the head with a frying pan? No. No, that's another game. Yeah, this game reminds me of all sorts of other games. How do you sprinkle oil? It's a liquid, it's not dust. Maybe you just rub it on his head or something. Yeah, if you, like, spread those seeds or dust of the flower or whatever it is all over the world, wouldn't that be bad for the Dark Dragon? Uh-oh. Yeah, pay no attention to the crystal ball exploding. I'm sure everything will go just fine. Really? <laughs> okay, well, we got a flower to weed out, so let's take care of that. Apparently people like dancing around here. What do they even care about this little village anyway? I mean, at least, like, Tuntar and Tantar, they had a ring that boosted your attack power by 10, which really wasn't that worth it, but at least there was a reason. Maybe they just need the flower here. For boss time! Okay, same thing as before. Volt Dragon. And we'll just use the uh, Flame Rapier here, since we don't have blue in our party. Oh, well. Now, fortunately, since I have Ryu in the front row, and on the left side leading the party there, the flower will usually attack him, so he should be in pretty good shape. I wish they made the flower like when you walk on it before. Like it had some deleterious effect before. But I wish they did a thing like in Final Fantasy V with those with the flower there where if you walked on it you get your party actually got poisoned. That would have been cool. Oh! What is it with gigantic flowers in JRPGs anyway? Now well, we're taking him out easily enough anyway, so... Yeah, unfortunately, the flower, not really weak to much of anything. Not even fire. You would think it would be, but no, it doesn't work that way. So we'll just stick with our bolt dragon. Ha! Got it. Why do these flowers always have so much HP in these JRPGs, too? I don't know. Yeah! Got him. Yeah, not too much of a second win. But, all right. We deflowered you, court. My flower! My precious flower! What have you done to it? Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to lose my temper over it. Oh. Well, thank you. That's not awfully, that's awfully cordial of you. And we'll never see him again. Well, let's see how things are going back at Gust then. Gotta refuse again. 
Yeah, it's kind of annoying, but, well, it's not the end of the world. Could be worse. I could have used Debo and had to undo all that. Go underwater, die, go back over water, to use it again, then get defused again. Yeah, that would be a pain in the ass. Not as much as invisible explosives, but you take what you can get. Uh-oh. What's going on back there? And Nikolai just su suddenly decided to take off all of his clothes? Or that. What is that thing on Blue's head anyway? Some kind of hat or a shawl or something? I don't know. Not again. For boss time! Okay, now, yeah, our party's kind of strangely set up here, so... Oh, wait, that's not what I want. We want to switch Gobi out for Ox, and well, I'm going to have to fuse Karn again mid-battle. So, well, I guess you get to see the uh, spell animation for his fusions. Not really much of an animation, but I like the sound effect they use for that. So, if you had any of the other fusion characters in your active party, well, you'd only have three characters, or two characters, or however many, in battle at this point. So, yeah, that's why I wanted to switch out Gobi, so that way we wouldn't have that problem. Let's see, good... yeah. This one's a little weaker than the last one, although he still seems to be kicking my ass anyway. Now well, we almost got it. Yeah, I don't think we need the uh, Marble Ones anymore, although I probably want to sell my excess stuff. But let's finish it first. Yeah! Got him! Ooh, alright. It's too bad the Cura X spell takes forever to learn from me, you know? Probably not gonna get it in this LP. I get people to calm down by shoving a lightning bolt up their ass. <laughs> Blow. With the oil. You need to have lube for him. I like having a Lamia for a party member. Okay, well, it looks like all of our problems are solved. Can you, uh, rebuild the bridge for us? Hey, all right! Well, he recovered pretty fast. Sounds like a plan. Thanks for the free rest here. Your inn charges like mad! But can Nikolai fix the bridge? What lies beyond? Will we ever settle things with court once and for all? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!